Hello to everybody, this is JFM here, give you another video. Well, I already told this about uh, in the last video that I might make a video about uh, my video game collection, and here it is, video game collection. Well, this isn't it. This is just the beginning. This is not my handheld games that I have with me at the moment, but yeah. The very first thing I want to show you is my uh, Game Boy Advanced. Oh, Game Boy Advance. Yeah, it is the dark purple one. And the only games I have for it right now is, oh, this is a Pokemon Blue version. Can't go wrong with the original Pokemon games. You know, I, I'm still playing it to this day. I remember the, fir the very first time I actually uh, played this. Um, yeah, I, uh, it was around the time around when I was like in, uh, I just finished third grade. And I practically uh, told my mom to uh, buy this for me. We were at Sears, and so she bought this for me, and it... It changed my life. It actually inspired me to make my own Pokemon books. Uh, and, of course, Super Mario Advance 2, which is Super Mario World. This is originally a Super Nintendo game, but now they fit it in here. And it's uh, Super Mario World is my favorite game ever. So it's kind of cool that it's in a handheld console like this. But of course, I do have a Nintendo DS. This is a DS Lite, which is a, uh, yeah, I can play in the dark, clearly, and the games, <laughs> I only have four games for it. Yeah, this is my whole collection, uh, Pokemon Heart Gold, Pokemon Platinum version, Final Fantasy IV, and new Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, uh, I'm currently playing uh, the gold version, I just bought this, and yeah, I, ha I have, I have the uh, original uh, gold version in a, at my parents house but yeah it's there but yeah it's practically the same gold version only with the uh, uh, platinum versions uh, platinum versions graphics and I have to say you know I do like the original Pokemon adventure but when it comes to the best adventure I'm gonna have to go with the gold and silver version because you actually get to uh, get the you have 16 badges to go go through and it's just non-stop with the whole the fighting your rival I really I, I really like the rival in this version you know it's, it's been rumored that he's actually the son of Giovanni but I won't go into that detail you know let's move on alright next I'll show you my PlayStation 3 games uh, first we'll go with God of War Collection this is God of War 1 and 2 in this little uh, Blu-ray right here, and I love it. God of War games is so epic. Uh, Final Fantasy 13, another epic game. I'm currently playing this for the second time. Beat it last year, and I'm uh, attempting to beat it again about the next uh, two weeks or so. Yeah, this is, Final Fantasy 13 is like my favorite is my second favorite Final Fantasy game next to nine uh, Uncharted Drake's Fortune I knew this would be a big hit when it came out back in 07 you know uh, this is my kind of game the whole adventure um, um, shoot him up and Uncharted 2 Among Thieves five out of five stars and it deserved it it's a really good game I can't wait for the third one to come out in uh, November Dead Rising 2, I, you know, it's, it's an amazing game, I'm just going to say that. I really like the zombie games, you know, actually going around, killing zombies with the weapons you uh, construct together. You know, I played the first one in the, in the Xbox, but since I don't have an Xbox anymore, um, I now have this to enjoy for my, uh, to my uh, fullest enjoyment. Mod Nation Racers. It's a it, it's a fun game, you know, to create your own characters and, you know, knowing me, I actually created my own um, uh, based on uh, my comic characters. So, yeah, it's a really exciting game, and of course, you can't go wrong with the Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter Four. Of course, have the uh, the first Street Fighter. Yeah, this is like a an updated version. Uh, Ghostbusters. Disappointed that you get that you don't get to create your 
your character here, because the main character that you control has no name. It's just a they just call him Rookie. So I say, what's the point if you're gonna if you're gonna control this one guy who you have no control over how he looks like or what he says? And what's the point of uh, you know not giving him a name? He has to have a, some sort of name. Time Crisis Four. Yeah, the only way to play this is with a light gun, but I don't have that set up. But I have played the arcade, the original arcade, and it's it's more fun in the arcade version. Dante's Inferno, which is like uh, it's just like God of War, only it's uh, about a guy saving his uh, beloved girlfriend from uh, from hell, and it's rated M for a reason. It's a very crazy game. Very crazy, but I like it. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I t I've been into this game for like a week. Or a week or two, and then I stopped playing. You know, it's just so redundant with the whole fighting and all that. There's no really, there's no real story mode or anything. Gran Turismo 5. Another game I've been uh, into for like a week. God of War 3. An epic game. Very good graphics. You know, gotta... I had to play these two first to uh, fully understand what's going to uh, understand what's going on here. Soul Calibur 4. Haven't played this in a while, but I like it. Has Darth Vader, and uh, he's the PS3 exclusive character. Grand Theft Auto 4. Originally, um, my cousin bought this for him. Or he he had, he really wanted to buy this for himself, but since he's not here, you know, we don't live together anymore, and you know, I. I have no interest in it. You may wonder what this is. This is a special edition uh, tin cartridge of Resident Evil 5 because I love me some Resident Evil. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I really don't play this that much. I know it's a really good game. I mean I've played Black Ops but I'm not really into the war games. That, uh, I don't know why it's just I don't know, the only war game I really like is uh, the Killzone series, but, you know, uh, Fight Night Round 3, I like I like the boxing, I like to read some boxing. Dead Space 2, haven't played this much, I mean, I, I should, considering that it's, uh, um, you know, it's just like uh, Resident Evil. Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe, meh. And the SmackDown vs. Raw series. I am a wrestling fan, so I buy these every year. It, it started from a, all the way from a SmackDown Here Comes the Pain for PS2 back in 2003. Uh, it's funny how uh, every year me and my cousin uh, would um, actually uh, would get excited to buy uh, the, each game. Like, for, for instance, 2008, when... Uh, when we first bought this, you know, we were all excited, and then we, then we, it's like we, okay, I'll just explain. Okay, let's say we just bought 2009, then we would get, uh, 2008, you know, we would hold the cartridge and say, we don't need you anymore, and then throw it. You know, just a friendly throw. We would do this every year, you know. <laughs> Actually, with, a, with every game with a sequel, it's like, uh, uh, l let's say we got God of War 3 and then we take this and then, uh, say we don't need it anymore and throw it out on the bed yeah these are th this is my whole PS3 collection and my PS3 is right there alright next is the Wii games I have a Nintendo Wii I got it back in uh, Christmas of uh, 06 and what I what I did here was uh, organize the um, all the games I have for the Wii, and I got them in the order which I in the order which I got them. You know, of course, Wii Sports is uh, first. It came with the Wii, but that's a given. I don't have it here. But the very first game I got for the Wii was the um, Twilight Princess, Legend of Zelda, awesome game. Then I got Prince of Persia, Rival Swords. Never did finish the game. Mario Party Eight. And uh, Super Paper Mario never did beat the, this game. I almost did. I mean, I, I, if I'm going to play it again, I'm going to have to start over a whole new file because the last time I've played was the summer of 2007. <laughs> yeah, it's a really long time ago. 
So, yeah, I'm going to have to recap on everything. Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. This is like a... This is like a, a rail shooter. It's like a... The, the camera is like you're you're in a first person view and then the camera moves where it wants to and all you have to do is uh, shoot point and shoot the zombies with, with, with your uh, Wiimote. It's a really fun game. I like the I, li I like those kind of games. I like it. Uh, and then Super Mario Galaxy first one. Of course if, if you have a Wii you have to have this game Super Smash Brothers Brawl and Mario Kart Wii House of the Dead Two and three, I'm a I'm a fan of the House of the Dead series, but uh, unlike this, um, the Resident Evil, uh, House of the Dead is uh, let's say more uh, fast paced, and they really count you for uh, accuracy. Rather in in here, they don't really care about accuracy. In fact, it's encouraged that you uh, destroy as much as many items as you can for points. Uh, but here, you have to shoot the zombies. Guitar Hero World Tour, Super Mario Strikers Charged, and then Super Mario Super Sluggers. I have a whole bunch of Mario stuff. Pokemon Battle Revolution. I'm uh, I'm kind of holding holding off to this game. You know, I want to exchange my Pokemon from the from my Platinum version onto here, so I can fight, you know, a whole bunch of people with my um, pl pl Platinum Pokemon. But I'm still leveling them up. Dead Rising Chop to Your Drop, which is basically the first Dead Rising game, only uh, I'm going to say the graphics have been dumbed down for, uh, for for the Wii version. But hey, it's still the same story of the first Dead Rising, so if you have a Wii and a, P and a PS3 so and you, have, and you want to play Dead Rising 2, I would recommend buying this because it's the same story. If you want to get the storyline, then, then you buy uh, this one. Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles which is a sequel to the other one up here and I I really like this version better I really like the second one because it has Leon and Claire my favorite Resident Evil characters Tatsunoko vs. Capcom thanks to this game uh, I've now noticed a whole bunch of uh, animes that I've never seen before so uh, it's a really great uh, marketing strategy both Capcom and Tachinoko. Super Mario Galaxy 2. I just beat this like a couple weeks ago. Fun game. Metal Slug Anthology. I like these kind of sh I like these kind of games where you you know shoot and uh, it's so cartoony and fun. Uh, in fact, um, when I play Metal Slug 2 in here, I always try to beat the whole game without getting hit, which I always get hit by in in stage five. It's you know, it's impossible. And the newest game that I bought is uh, Mario Sports Mix. Still haven't beat it. But it has some uh, uh, Final Fantasy characters here. They make ca uh, cameos. Which is, you know, it's uh, developed by Square Enix. So, there you have it. Yeah, this is my uh, video game collection. Uh, the PS3, uh, Wii, and my two games here. My two Game Boys. So, yeah, I hope you found this uh, interesting to know my little interests. And, yeah, uh, there you have it. Well, well actually, I'm going to say the games that I'm waiting for this year. Of course, I'm going to wait for Uncharted 3, uh, Dead Rising 2, um, which is a different version of Dead Rising 2. Um, what else is coming out? Well, there's Final Fantasy 13 too, but it won't come out till next year. Oh, and um, I'm gonna download uh, Resident Evil 4, uh, the HD version on on my PS3. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Oh, and probably uh, the Batman games. Uh, I I have a demo of Batman: Arkham Asylum. Uh, it's a really good game, but I haven't really got around to actually buying the game. So as soon as I buy that, I would then buy Arkham City, which is you know that, that the sequel to that. And yeah, I'm gonna have to buy that. I mean, I haven't know. I don't know why I haven't bought my. I haven't bought uh, Batman: Arkham Asylum yet. I'm gonna have to, since Batman is my favorite DC uh, superhero. So.
there you have it. All right, I think this has gone a bit too long, so I'll see you guys later. Shave them out.